Welcome to your second video homework year seven. Today we're going to be looking at shapes and geometry and I want you to come into the classroom next lesson with some basic understanding in this topic. Your due date is Monday the 8th of May, that is next lesson. Right, again we'll start off by looking at some key words and what I want you to do is define them and rewrite them using your own words. You've got formula, so formulae, area, perimeter, volume, units, compound and perpendicular. Okay, you should have seen these words before, but I just want you to come up with the definitions and write them down in your book. And please don't forget to highlight them. So you can pause the video, um, explore the keywords, and then rewrite the definitions using your own words. Right, okay. Um, next, you've got a matching activity. You've got three of the keywords from the list, and I want you to match them to the correct units. Okay, so match them to the correct units and as an extension task, could you please explain the differences in their powers? Okay, using algebra and what I've taught you previously, can you explain the differences in their powers? Right, next, you already have this slide printed out, therefore there is no need for you to copy anything out into your book. All you have to do is just match the uh, 2D shape to its area formula. Okay, so pause the video, name the shapes first, and then match the shape to its correct area formula. And once you have done that, could you also illustrate on the shape? So, for example, um, where I say vertical height, could you label the, the correct shape with its vertical height and its base? So, pause the video. Do the matching activity and then I'm going to give you the answer in a second for you to be able to do the next activity. Right, hopefully you have matched the areas correctly and here are the answers. So the rectangle, area is equal to base times width. Parallelogram, area is equal to base times vertical height. Trapezium, area is equal to sum of parallel sides divided by two and multiplied by vertical height again. Okay, I've highlighted this keyword because... Um, it's not any height, it's the vertical height you're looking for. Area of a triangle is area is equal to base times vertical height divided by 2. And finally, for a circle, the area is equal to pi times radius squared. Again, please label the radius on that circle. Hopefully you've got that all right. You should already be familiar with this, actually. Right, here's a reasoning activity I want you to carry out. We've already matched the um, 2D shapes to their areas, and what I want you to do now is by relating the shape to a rectangle, I want you to tell me the reason, um, I want you to explain how the area formula is derived. Okay, so this is a triangle using a rectangle. Can you please explain how we've arrived at this particular formula, okay? So base times vertical height, explain why we're dividing it by two in this case, okay? By relating it to a rectangle. Second, I want you to do the same for a parallelogram. Explore the area formula, relate it to the rectangle and explain why we have come up with this formula. And as an extension, I also want you to look at a trapezium, okay? Explore this and give me reasons as to why the formula is the sum of parallel sides divided by two multiplied by its vertical height. And once you've done that, your final activity is going to be uh, to answer three questions um, based around area. Again, I would have given this to you, so all you have to do is just stick it down, write out the question number, show me your working out, and then your final answer. Right, I will also provide this PowerPoint on showing my homework in case you can't see it clearly in the video. Right, thank you for watching it.